La Vie is the album opener. I think it's the song that best represents the overall sound and vibe of the record. And I wanted to start the album off with a bang. The Knuckle of V, or The Devil of the Sea, comes from Orcadian folklore, and it's described as a giant and grotesque, skinless, horse-like demon with what looks to be the torso of a rider attached to its back, though much more malformed. For the most part, it's confined to the sea by another mythical being, the Mither of the Sea, which is referenced in the second verse of the track, but when it does make its way onto land, it brings plague and death to wherever it travels. It's said to have killed horses, cattle, and wilt crops with its poisonous breath, and that no man that has encountered the Knuckle of V has lived to tell the tale, bar one. And the lyrics to the song are mostly based on that account. The lyrics detail a man out one night who encounters the creature and is rightfully terrified. He spots what he assumes to be a fire in the distance, but as it comes closer, he realises that it is the flaming glow from the eye of the dreaded Knuckle of V. He begs and he prays that the beast does not harm him before deciding in the end just to confront it. He eventually accepts his fate, marches on and comes face to face with the Knuckle of V. But just before it kills him, a storm erupts, rain pours down and because of the Knuckle of V's aversion to fresh water, it disappears back into the night and back into the sea moments before the man's life is claimed. So I was listening to a lot of speed metal while writing this song and I think you can hear it in the first riff in particular, um, especially when the little harmonised parts come in. So I wanted to build on the first part with an even more chaotic part and so the second riff um, is inspired by a lot of the old school thrash and death metal bands where things sounded like they could go off the rails at any moment. Um, stuff like Early Creator, um, Early Megadeth, Merciless um, and Cannibal Corpse's first album. I wanted to give the track some dynamics um, and it's quite difficult to build upon a chaotic part like the last one. So I decided to slow the verse down, which is something I don't think I've really done with Hellripper before. Um, so yeah, this part sounds quite black metal with the minor chord arpeggios. So the bridge part is where things change quite a bit. It starts off with this traditional traditional metal type guitar melody and that's later harmonised. So this part here was originally written to sound quite different. Um, it was in a different key and it was used somewhere in another track. It didn't sound quite right in the context of the other track and so after messing around with it, I came up with what you hear in this track. So we have the first solo of the track here um, and it's inspired mostly by Annihilator stuff and Megadeth and in particular um, Dave Mustaine solos. There's a few there's a few parts uh, where I think you can hear this is evident, especially a couple of licks near the end. So then we have the end of the lead part, or the transition back into the main song, or back into the second bridge, I guess, um, where we have two guitars harmonising with another guitar, a lead guitar, over the top. We 
then have the Dark Throne or Celtic Frost type bridge where we slow things down and get headbanging. Yeah, this is a really fun riff to play. It's one of my favourite parts on the album. Um, the riff, again, was actually written for a song on my previous album, The Affair of the Poisons, but again, it just didn't fit the particular track that I was using it on, and so it was kept aside for future use, and here we are. So the climax of the song, if you will, here, um, it's quite black metal sounding, and again, a part written years ago for another track, and originally was way more black metal, with blast beats under it the whole time. Um, yeah, this version, I think, has a cool build-up with the drums gradually getting faster underneath and until it comes to a halt, and we go back into the final chorus to end the song. have it. I hope you enjoyed hearing a bit about my writing process for this track and how some of the parts came to be. Go listen to the Knuckle of E on wherever you listen to music and check out the new Hellripper album Warlocks Grim and Withered Hags out February 17th on Peaceville Records. All hail the goats! Oh, no!